Hey, what's up guys? This is Emily from Bubbly Monkey Gaming, and today we are back in Missed Messages. Now, um, if you remember last time, last time I did awful, and I was not able to save my roommate from herself. So this time, we are going to see if we can get a better ending, because I, I looked and there are better endings, I don't know what they are. Uh, I just, all I know is that there are different endings. So we are going to try something different and not go with what I did last time. All right. Wait. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance I saw a figure. Wait, was this here before? I don't remember this. Okay. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared in the snow. I'd missed my chance. Oh! I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful, but not sure why. Oh, it remembers what happened the first time! Oh! That's some Undertale shit right there. What was that about? Never mind that. I should start working. Inner door? My roommate's door. She used to keep it open, now it's usually closed. I remember that dream I had. Can I, can I... Oh, okay, it just repeats the same thing. Okay, um, papers? What's on the papers? My precious Madoka Magica poster, which really is just a printout. Aw, oh, that's cute though, look at that, that's adorable. You alright, love me. Hope midterm went well, you got, well, got you, Bubba, it's in the fridge. Alright. Aw. God, they're cute. And some notes from my friend and roommate, man. Aw. Who is both distant and a total sweetheart. Wow, I did not I did I did not get all of this last time. Yikes. Let's look at my plants. Filling my heart by filling my room with plants. Okay, perfect. Tea. Ooh, tea's nice. I love tea, and that's the tea. Okay. Uh, books, flags, to let my crush know that I'm not just being nice when I say they're cute. Aw. Books. So many books. There are literally pockets of Viet Cong in Kong in the back of my shelf that I that don't know the war is over. Yikes. Okay. Um The Outer Door. The door up to the outside world. Uh bathroom. Go back. Let's go to the bathroom. Why not? I already looked at the last one. I do what I gotta do, then go back. Okay. My roommate's door. Oh, okay. But I wanna knock on the door. I wanna make sure that that cute little pink haired sweetheart is okay. <laughs> this outfit must cost less than $50. Looking good. Looking super fly, yo. <laughs> One of my friends paid 240 for a shirt. I can't relate. Yeah, neither can I. Wow, that's a lot of money. I might, I might spend that much on sweatpants if I think it's worth it. But most of the time it's not worth it. Oh, I think I need to work. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. God, she has problems. What's this? Should I accept it? Uh, let's work. Spend 30 minutes trying to understand, but ultimately end up confused. Why? Why am I a fool? A hooligan? An oak with a PhD in buffoonery? Alright. Work. Uh, let's change the music. Let's change the tunes a little bit. Can't remember what this one does. How's this one go? Okay, that one was pretty slow. Yeah, there we 
There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, let's work some. I tend to focus back on my work. It's a C for some time. Alright. I begin to lose focus again. That's weird. I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, you're, you're okay. You're fine. Oh, you're alive. You're, you're okay. <gasps> she's, she's okay. Yes. Oh, look at you. Look at your cute little choker too. Oh my God, you're adorable. Um, shit. What, what should I say? Um, looking for a sock. I'm looking for my socks. You okay? Just want to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Aw, thank you, I'm fine. Er, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me? In case you don't want to be alone? I like that. Yes, but I have work to do. Well, let's just, let's just sit on my bed and we'll work together. It's perfect. We'll have a study, a little study group. Little study group. Uh, take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I I see. Even though we're roommates. <laughs> oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. This is adorable. This is wholesome. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed. She, uh, looking at the setting sun. Aww, stuffy. Like, let's talk about your stuff. So what are you holding? Oh, my pug. <laughs> I call him Potato. That is fucking adorable. Why? How are you so goddamn cute? Oh my gosh. Aw, he looks well loved. Yeah, he is. My dad gave him, gave me him. That's so sweet. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Ha <laughs> I forgot. You remember? Of course I do. Happy birthday to you. This hurts me internally. She sang me happy birthday. Aw. Thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Aw. How are you? How, how, how have you been? How are you doing? How have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood. <laughs> so, uh, how so? I don't know, like, don't you tiredness day after day? Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there. Feel the struggle of being stuck inside of it. when I absolutely must do something I don't like, like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're definitely not. I feel like a lot of people do things because they're supposed to. Not because it makes them happy. I think it's more than doing things that make you happy. I think it's more than doing things that make you happy. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has direction. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? That's exactly right. You should do what I love. Just like I'm doing what I love right here and now in this very moment, day and time. You should do what you love as well. It's not that easy. Yes, it is. It's very simple. It's it, it's it's such a simple concept, but so many people think it's not easy. But in, in reality, all you gotta do is just give yourself that little itty bitty shove out the door of mediocreness. Move yourself to where you want to go. That's what I, that's the key. If I knew what I love, what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. 
That's also true. A lot of people don't know exactly what it is they love to do. But that's why you gotta go out and visit the world and see people and do things. It's warm in here. Give me a second. <laughs> There. Just crack a window, it's a little warm. Alright. But I don't know what I want. Uh, you like nothing. <laughs> Is this a constant? I'll help you. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Aw, thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Stare outside, dream. A time pass. Stare outside. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. <laughs> really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. I'm tired of the daily grind. Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of? It's a satisfying sort of monotony. Well, for some people, yeah. For me, that would drive me absolutely nuts. A day where I stay inside, windows open with tea and a good book with good sheet. Actually, that really sounds awesome. I should, I should go. I really should go to the library and buy, not buy, but like get some books or something. I really need to start doing that. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like when I wake up. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep. Then I do it all over again. You think you're depressed? Um, maybe? I took antidepressants a long time ago, but I felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant. Maybe you need to try a different one. Don't take my advice. I know nothing. <laughs> that's that's very true. I know absolutely nothing about this world. That's why I go out and into the world. Not just about this, but in general. I've done it. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now I kinda just want to die. No. No. Are you suicidal? Oh my god, sorry, was that too much? Feel free not to answer. No. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. Maybe I shouldn't have clicked that one. Whoops. I feel like we all do, though. I imagine how it'll go down, how it'll look smell. Whether anyone would care that I was gone. Not just about how I went. Serious? You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might keep me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. Sometimes, sometimes it's it's better to just talk with someone about it and and not like immediately go, what? What are you doing? Like, don't think about those things. Like, my immediate reaction was to go, what? No! You can't do that! Stop it! But sometimes it's better to take the gentle approach and be like, hey, you know, I get it. I, I mean, I know what it's like to be in your shoes because knowing that, knowing that, even if you don't know it, saying that you understand helps a person a lot. So thanks. Uh, ooh, okay. Professional help, I felt that. With professional help. Have you considered getting professional help? I don't know. Good doctors seem so rare. I had bad experience with my own patients in this place. Oh, shit. Uh, better not press the bad experience. I'll come with you. I'm afraid. You don't need to be afraid. I'll come with you to find a good doctor. We'll drive to every place in town until we find a good one. Do that for me? Of course I would because I love you. I, I don't even know you, but I love you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you. Look at how beautiful you are. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, keep going. Dream, let's go. Dreams. I had a weird dream. Oh, what? 
about you, actually. Monty? Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what's it mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Aw, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay, too. It's just a dream. Here, you're still scared by bedtime. I'll tell you a bedtime story. Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Grab some popcorn, maybe a little bit of tea to help not choke on the popcorn. Yes, bedtime stories. What do you do? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like, my most recent one, it featured you, actually. <laughs> I died? What? In a good way or a bad way? Good. Haha, <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected. I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was safe. Wow, that's scary. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing the correlations that I'm making in my brain right now to my last playthrough? Yeah. God damn it, I wish. Oh my god. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I wish I didn't do such a bad job the first time. I was just like, oh, socialize. Let's go and hang out with people outside. Not realizing that my beautiful soul Ruby was ah, hurting inside. I needed. Ah, wow, that's that's scary. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I always knew I was gonna save the world. Heck yeah, because I am empowered. Yeah, the dream, the dream you really saved. We talk more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. What are we doing? Keep me going. I gotta go. I have to work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay! Thank you for listening. It really means a lot. Although I also have work. I didn't expect to talk to you one day. I'm gonna. I kinda wanna look at my laptop, but I also don't at the same time. What's this? Should I accept it? Uh. Sure, let's accept it. This is me back, Mark. You good, fam? Uh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just, I'm, apparently, I'm just gonna work. Do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this wheel. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? Okay, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on her. I'm gonna check on her. Face door is open. I wonder where she is. Okay, that's a little strange. What? I can't look at my backpack? Alright. Sure, whatever. Um... The outer door. Uh, go to the bathroom. Excuses not to work. Go to the bathroom. <gasps> I opened the door to my roommate, May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Hey, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Bye. Okay? You don't look okay. I, I need to go. Hug her! Give her a hug! Wait! Don't go! Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something, yet I didn't want to break the silence. Oh, after a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you. You're so kind. <laughs> My heart. I can't. <laughs> I made soothing motions on her back. Wait. Just, let's just let her talk it out. Wait. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I need to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. 
Hey, yes you do. Ah! No! Come on, battery. What are you doing to me? This is an important moment! And hey, the microphone hasn't crapped out yet. I hope the music isn't too loud. I'm, I'm sure it isn't, but... Alright. Excuse me. Okay. Hey, yes you do. You deserve all the hugs in the world. And all the love, every, it all goes to you. All my good luck, all my love, all my support goes to you. Because you deserve it. Don't forget that, alright? You are a beautiful human being that has a purpose in this world. And you gotta go and find it, alright? Don't you forget that. Yes you do. You are a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just hug. Oh, I will hold you forever. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I even consider her our best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. I didn't want her to be dependent on her. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. Oh! One night, May hugged me by surprise. May, thank you. Me? What for? I, uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I really appreciate you. Really. Anytime. Thank you, too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no, you. No, you. No, you. Uno reverse. <laughs> Later that night, she gave me a note. Both haunting and touching. Uh-oh. Oh no. No. Have I failed again? Hey, Red. I was buried in the blizzard. The snow held it powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I couldn't and I could finally open my door. The end, hope. There's something to look forward to, after all. Thank you for playing. By Angela H. E. Inspired Angela Heaney, inspired by real life. Evan and Junji Ito. Ah. Oh. That is Oh, I got- I got a good ending, guys! I got a good one! Oh, I'm happy about that! Alright, well that is going to be all for this episode. I, um, I don't know if I should do another one. I don't know how many different endings there are. Um, I- I- maybe I should look and see how many different ones there are. I don't- but I don't think I'm gonna come back to this because what I really, really wanted was just a happy ending. And I got my happy ending. So, I am very happy about that. Um, and, oh gosh, because when, because the first time I played through this, I, honestly, my mind was just kind of like, oh, let's, let's socialize, let's talk on the computer, and I was just kind of like, blah, 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 blasting through it, I didn't really think about anything. Oh, man, I, ugh. Regrets, man, regrets. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope that, uh, you guys have learned something from this, all right? I forgot to mention this in the first video, too. Uh, I really, if, if you are struggling with depression or anxiety or anything like that, please, please go see someone. It is so important because there are people that love you and care about you. Even if it doesn't seem like it right now, there are people who, like, rely on you and care about you so much. <clears throat> And honestly, I, I just wish that I could give a huge hug to anybody who's feeling that way. I just, I just wish I could, I could pour all of my love into them and just let them know that I, that I love them and I love you so much. But, but I can't do that because I'm only one person behind the screen. But, but don't worry, don't worry. Things will look up if, if you're dealing with stuff. I'm, I'm not a professional, so don't. Don't come to me, definitely not, because I'm an idiot. But go, go talk to people. Go talk to someone, a professional, especially. And it's, it's always good to have close friends who are there, willing to be there for you and, and 
push, not not pushy necessarily, but just willing to give you that hug when you really need it, or or just give you a, a word of encouragement when you really need it. Build that solid foundation of friends who are there for you and are are good people, and, and they will help you. Because I promise that you don't have to go through this alone. You shouldn't have to. So, yeah. That's my little cliche spiel. Uh, if if it did sound cliche, I don't know if it did or not. But but I hope that you, that you guys are having a wonderful day. You all are beautiful and amazing people. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're awesome. I hope, I hope you know that I really, really mean that. And hopefully I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day, you guys. Stay awesome and bubbly. Bye-bye!